They call me the Lion of Sagami. You don't want to find out why. Recognizing their opponent's strength, Ujiyasu, Shingen, and Kenshin set aside their differences and vowed to bring peace to the Kanto region. Shingen, however, dreamed of greater conquest. Together with Kenshin, he raised an army and marched on the capital city of Kyoto. Ujiyasu was left to watch over their homes in their absence. It was then that Masamune Date of the Oshu province gathered his troops and attacked. With his trusted officers Keiji Maeda and Magoichi Saika, he threatened to upset the peace that Ujiyasu had fought so hard to obtain. Ready to take on any challenge in the name of his clan and his people, Ujiyasu patiently awaited the coming storm. You'll take Kanto over my dead body. Chapter 5, The Great Kanto Defense. I promise, this will be your last battle. Boys have come a long way, but this is our land. We can't let them go. We have a duty to our allies to keep this land safe, so that they can bring peace. And any who threaten us, my family, has come trouble. I won't let you get the best of me! There they are! What? Where did you come from? When you face a visit, the only thing to do is to say greetings first. You boys are the ones trespassing. This is our land. You should be honored, boy. It's not every visitor who gets personally greeted by the Lion of Kanto. So, you're the ruler of this part. Good. You saved me the trouble of looking for you. I knew I could rely on you. Feel my wrath.
little surprise attacks will not derail my grand designs. I will withdraw from the Keiji, Magoichi, and show them we mean business. That boy's head is so bloated with ambition, he's lost all sense of his own insignificance. Time to really make my mark. You boys got courage, you have to admit. I just want to see how far you can go. Open the gates! Destroy what remains of his army while he's gone. Take this! Taking a flame to come to a We shall go hands with his tail between his legs. There These ladies are alone for a good second. I have to make sure they return in this stunning condition. Feel my wrath! So I suppose they're untouchable, while your actual retainers are expendable, huh? Run on home now. Don't be a fool. No one in my army is expendable. We can't afford any mistakes. If my brother were here, he would take care of that Katakatsu in no time. Oh, is that a challenge? In that case, I accept. Distraught if I die. It'd just be inhumane to kill me. They'll get over it. They will realize you died without ever having anyone to cruel in my field. You will soon learn the fate that befalls those who dare encroach upon our territory. I know you're excited up against a young fellow like that, but try not to get yourself killed. Excited? I'm indignant, thank you very much. Well, I've got your back anyway. You're not so weak after all. Don't think you get the last laugh. I can't afford to lose any more of this. Victory is my only option. You are a fool. Honor matters not. Might is everything. What do you think you're doing? I heard a terrible rumor, and I had to come and check it out. They say there's a woman who thinks they're dragging the strength of bear. You seen her? No, that doesn't sound good. Hey. Feel my wrath! That girl wants to claim all the 
glory. We'll see about that. Run on home now. Incredible! Save your all. I do something really amazing. Pride is worthless in death. Forgive me. Fall back if you don't have the courage. Wow, I'm impressed. One less fool to get in my way. We should all learn from your shining example. The officer needs assistance. If this is fate's decree, then so be it. That's one less fool to get in my way. Wow, I'm impressed. You for it. Got sick of looking at you, can she? Never. He is everything to me. Fall back if you don't have the courage. Feel my wrath. Why can't we all just live in peace? 
Thanks for showing how she wins the day at the My lord says he can't die before you. He says it wouldn't be polite. They're just right <laughs> Such strength, the land could have been all yours. I'll leave worrying about the land to Shingen and Kenshi. And the rest is I've got their back. The Eye of the Dragon is set firmly on total domination. The insignificant Hojo, with their petty regional concerns, are no match for my grand ambitions. There they are! He spends all his time keeping an eye on those two. Well, I'll soon get him looking at me. Don't be such a shrew. That jealousy will only get you killed. Feel my wrath. The last lap. What happened to fighting like men, face to face? That's for fools. War isn't about honor, it's about winning and losing. Incredible! I didn't know I still had it in me. Average man to understand your charms. It's time to finish this off. Get those invaders off my people's soil. The dragon flies high above those who have not the ambition or the courage to rule the land. My people sweat every day out of their fields, 
they love my and they respect me. Their well-being is the only thing that matters to me. That ought to keep things nice and quiet around here for a while. Then I must return to my lord's side. Farewell. I suppose I'll just wait for word from old Shingen. Might take a nap first, though. When entering a battle, one must be prepared to meet death. You were with Lord Shingen in the capital. That's why I'm here! It's my lord! He's... oh, he's... Ah. I get the picture. And? Where's Lord Ujiyasu? He's taken ill and is sleeping. To his room, then. Try the sea instead. You... you haven't! I suppose you think I drowned him! So by ill, you mean he's faking it. You knew it all along. No. I'm shocked you'd lie to me. Keep it down. I haven't had a bite all day, thanks to you. But we only just arrived. I bring a message from my lord. At last. Oh. The land is ours. That wily old coot. He finally did it. 